Hey, today is Sunday and this is Fee About Them Facts. I have ran across a content creator who is currently having a paperwork party for um, Makita's. For Maurice Hill, Pamela Hill, and the daughter uh, Raven Winton. Now, this uh, content creator is new to me, so we are about to check her out or he out because they have a voiceover, um, and we're about to check them out together. So let's go. This is Makita's Cookies Paperwork Party. Okay, this is the paperwork party. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> I'm pausing right now. I'm pausing because that's allegedly. Looks like Pamela pulled the trigger. <laughs> this is the paperwork party. Please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe this video. And you can hit that notification button too. That way, whenever I drop something, you guys will get to get it. All right, so like father, like daughter, Raven Wynn has four judgments against her in Tennessee. These judgments are for three hundred and four dollars, two thousand thirty-seven dollars, one thousand twenty-six dollars, and four hundred and ninety-eight dollars. Like father, like daughter. Let's see what she's being sued for. And let's see, because these people won the judgments against Raven, so she lost these cases in court. The one for $304 was for Time Warner. Raven can't even pay her cable bill. Okay, she owes Time Warner $304. And we know what 304 stands for backwards. It stands for hoe. <laughs> Raven Witten is a hoe. All right, so... um. She owes $2,000 to Waterford Point. That looks like an apartment complex. Mm, she must have had a tiny ticket. Allegedly. She owes $1,000 to the University Cabana Apartments. Yep, she definitely got evicted from the University Cabana Apartments. And she owes $498 to Murkowski Ringel. Now remember, her father, Maurice Hill, and Pamela Hill, they both owe... Mikowski Ringel money. So why does the daughter owe Mikowski Ringel money? Okay? So this is just to let you know that they had a, just to let you know that they had a motive to help set up young dog. They were money hungry. These people are broke. These people will take any dollar. Okay? This is the
Hello and welcome to the paper report. Please like, share, subscribe if you like this video and hit the notification button. Pamela Hill, forgery, 2018, Shelby County Criminal Justice System. She had a warrant out for her arrest in 2018 on two charges. Theft of merch, up to $60,000. Forgery, up to $60,000. What she tried to do was steal some property. We know it was $33,000 as of now. Two felonies in 2018. People, Makita's Cookies, Makita Cookies, Called two felonies in 2018. The affidavit of the complaint, we do have that. We have all of that. Where she tried to change her name, Pamela. You know, she tried to change her name and they caught her doing that. They have all her IDs. $33,100 was the was the, uh, the exact total. Occasion they arrested her, one out for arrest. Makita's Cookies. Y'all got some explaining to do. Makita's Cookies, you have some explaining to do. It's the paperwork part. Okay. So I don't want to come on here and act like no one has ever done anything wrong because that's not the case. It was just trying to see uh, what would be a motive to kill a young Dolph. And money is, is always the root of all evil money is not evil, but the root of it is what made people do things to get it is. Uh, so I agree. They have some explaining to do, but hopefully the surveillance report uh, will come out tomorrow like uh, old Maurice said it would. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting to see what the surveillance shows. Okay, y'all have a great day.